July 18, 2016, and here we are with our student of the day, Tessa. She's an eight-year-old Morgan mare. We like to call her the mistress because she likes to be treated like a little princess. She's a beautiful mare with a great mind, but she lacks just a little bit in education. So what we've done with Tessa is just go back to the basics and um, give her some great ground manners, which she already has. And so we've started to do some under saddle work. And what I'd like to do is get them used to wearing the tack, make sure that they can lunge in both directions easily, that they understand a basic language. So that when we do begin to get on the horse, they're comfortable with the idea and all the concepts. And we have a basic way to communicate. Um, Tessa still has a few issues on the lunge line, like a lot of horses going to the right is a little bit difficult for her, but with patience, She's really coming along quick and I'm really pleased with this mare. She's going to be a great horse for some young rider, amateur adult to do dressage, western dressage, trail riding, maybe even a little bit of jumping. She's going to be a nice horse. So really what's happening in Anna Maria, she's, she's been pretty good. Yeah. She's getting comfortable enough with me to say, Off a little bit of steam here, and then we're going to talk about it. All right. What's that? We're started late in life um, she doesn't she objects going to the right which is not unusual for any horse and um, so she's starting to question you know are you, do I really have to do this do I really have to do this so she tried stopping and turning stopping and turning and then she tried getting a little bit frantic well you kind of have to wait just be adamant you know, this is what we're doing today and try not to add any emotion or energy to it because if you start doing that it becomes a bigger issue than it needs to be so what I like to do is just keep repeating you know, my instruction until she accepts this is what I'm doing and the problem will go away if you escalate the energy into the situation then the horse you know has reason to maybe not even like it or fight some more or and that's not helpful so, and what I like is when I put the side reins on, she's very accepting of that. So I think we have a really smart horse that is smart enough to question my authority. And um, I'm just gonna wait it out and be consistent and kind and go from there. So onward we go. 
Try to have the reins as loose as possible with this horse that is sensitive and it is rather new. And again, we're going to her least favorite direction. And then keep her close and try to keep her quiet. Close, quiet, and going in the direction I want, and that's probably about as good as I'm going to get today. I was pleased about um, was that Tessa did decide to go ahead and play the game with us and be compliant in both directions. Um, she's still trying to figure out, you know, this thing about contact uh, with the side reins with a bit. She's still a little mousy. We have a very nice French link snaffle in her mouth right now that's uh, a comfort snaffle so it fits her jaw really well. Um, and we're doing things, we're having to do things that probably should have been done with her when she was much younger. But she's really smart and she's coming along well. I'm very pleased. Um, every day we make a little bit of progress. She's going to turn out to be a super horse.